with the easiest updo of the bunch, we're doing a sleek ponytail. So I'm just taking a smoothing brush and making sure that everything is as sleek as I can get it to my head. Taking an elastic, we're just going to put it in a high ponytail and then just keep working that brush until everything is as sleek and as smooth as possible. Taking a small section from the underneath of the ponytail, I'm going to wrap that around to hide the hair elastic. up I just smooth out any little extra bumps that might have occurred and hairspray everything into place. So with every good updo I tell all of my clients to come in with hair that's at least a day old. If it's not we can always dirty it up with hairspray and other products but I go and just curl the whole entire head. It doesn't matter how perfect the curls are unless you're wearing it down then you want to take your time a little bit more. Most times people want to just wear it up and it just gives it a really good base to kind of work with. Makes it a little more pliable and it's not so slick and doesn't want to fall out quite as easy. So I'm just going through and curling my whole head. I kind of sped up this process because you guys have seen me do this a million times. I'm just using the Marcel. Instead of just wrapping it around the outside, I'm actually using the clip. Break up the curls a little bit. Taking the side with the least amount of hair, I'm going to twist this up and then pin it into place just to give it a little something extra instead of just being down and plain. Going in with the rat tail comb, I'm going to part my hair because now we're going to tease. It's going to look really insane, but I swear it looks good by the end of it. Keep teasing until you have the entire top section of your hair done. I went through and did the sides first and then start smoothing it out and then I kind of do the back last just so I can get that volume that I want and I don't brush that all out in the beginning. Going through, just make sure at this point that you're really starting to smooth everything out and that it's really starting to look polished. You want to maintain that volume, so just very lightly use your brush. I go in with a rat tail comb every so often just to kind of give myself a little extra volume in places that might be looking flat, and then just kind of lightly, very lightly smoothing it over with the comb to make sure everything is in place. Next I'm going to just twist the hair over to the side and then use two bobby pins and crisscross them in an X form to keep them right in place where I want them. Another version of this can leave a little tiny bit out and pull most of the side that was down back and create a faux ponytail kind of look. It keeps that volume but makes it look a little bit like flirty and cute. I just brushed all the tees out because I didn't want that in there anymore. I'm going through and just doing smaller, tighter curls because I want them to be a little bit more defined for this next look. So 
sectioning everything from the back of your ear forward. We're going to leave that out to begin with and we're just going to take the back and put that into a low ponytail. Once my ponytail is securely in place, I like to kind of fluff it up a little bit so it's not quite so flat and it has a messy edge to it. Then I like to go through and just start pinning random sections. This is literally the easiest updo that you will ever do in your life and it kind of looks like you spent a good amount of time on it, but it is so, so, so easy. Check the back of your hair every so often to kind of see if you like the shape that it's creating. That's the beauty of this updo is that you can take pins out, put them back in. There's no rhyme or reason. It just looks effortlessly pretty. Switching over to hair pins, I like these because they're not quite as tight as bobby pins so you can keep nice full shapes without flattening the whole entire updo. So recurling any pieces that you might need, I'm just loosely pulling these back and pinning them in place just to get some of it out of the way. It looks really cool because you have these different layers and different levels throughout the hair. Again, you can twist the hair back and kind of create more of those twists to make it a little bit more interesting on the sides if you don't like having those pieces hanging down. It just looks really pretty and elegant. Either way, I would probably wear mine more back because I don't like things hanging in my face most of the time. So this is kind of similar to the updo I just showed you a minute ago, except we're doing it more to the side. So I'm twisting it like we did when we put it to the side earlier in the video, and I literally cup the hair and pull it up to the side of my head and just pin it wherever. So whereas we used the ponytail holder before, this time we're just freestyling the whole entire thing so it has lots of volume, lots of texture and messiness to it. And with enough hairspray, that baby is gonna stay in place. Some days we want bangs, but we don't want to fully commit to them, and this is perfect for people like me. Just pulling these to the side with a deep part and pinning them in place. You can put a little bit of your own hair over top of it to blend the bobby pin in a little bit, but if you like seeing the bobby pin, then that's cool too, especially if it's a bright color bobby pin. It looks really, really super cute. For this look we're going to split a low ponytail in half and tease the back side and roll that hair down towards the back of your head. It's going to form a loop and you're going to want to put a bobby pin on either side of the loop. This is the beginning of a bun, so just think in a circle shape and you will automatically start to form that shape. Do the same thing but on the underneath of that ponytail. Again, roll it up and meet it with the sides. You guys are going to have to forgive me because I literally was doing this so blind and the right side of this bun turned out so crazy. Look at the left side. Go with that side. <laughs> Periodically check in the mirror like you've been doing with the other updos and make sure everything is like smooth and flowing together. I'm using hairpins here to kind of lightly pull everything together, which is what I should have done a little more of on the right side. That left side is looking gorgeous. <laughs> guys learn some cool things and can add your own tips and tricks and flair to your hair. Thank you so much for watching.